The third topic, the EEG montage and setting. We all hear the story about the blind people touch the elephant. The story told us if we don't under whole part of one thing, we may make the mistake, even ridiculous result. This is the same when we are reading the EEG. We use the international 1020 system now, and we set the montage into two groups. The first group is reference montage, and the second group is bipolar montage. The reference montage means we need to find the standard and other electrode potential compared to the standard potential. The most common we use is the A1, A2 left ear and right ear. And CZ is in the top middle of the head. And the average reference montage means we got every electro potential and to calculate the average to be the reference. And the bipolar montage. Bipolar montage mainly di divide to uh, the longitudinal and transverse montage. Let's see the reference montage. First, we need to find the standard and compare other to the standard. So we can got some electro potential lower than standard or some electro potential higher than standard. And the bipolar montage. The bipolar montage is to compare the potential uh, of the adjacent electro. So when we want to understand the front to back potential change, we need to look the long longitudinal montage. If we want to understand the left side and right side potential change, we need to see the transverse montage. When we read EEG, we need to confirm the reference montage, longitudinal montage, and transverse montage to prevent the mistake or ridiculous result. Before reading the EEG, we need to understand the EEG setting, includes sensitivity, filter, and page speed. We need to know the amplitude and frequency of different phys physical signal, such as ECG, EMG. And we all need, also need to know the normal range of the amplitude and frequency of EEG in different edge group. The first sensitivity. For example, if we set EEG sensitivity to 5 mV every millimeter, so if the EEG signal uh, is 40 mV, then we can see the high of 8 mm in our EEG. Even the negative 40 mV, we also see the high of 8 mm. If the EEG signal is 18 mV, we will see the 16 mm high in our EEG. For example, when we see the sensitivity is 10 mV, that means in this EEG, every 1 mm high indicates the 10 mV. And if we set the sensitivity of 5 mV, that means every high 1 mm is indicated 5 mV. And this is setting sensitivity to the 20 mV. Let's see what's different when we set the different sensitivity in the EEG. We can see the lower sensitivity we set in and the higher amplitude we are seeing in the same EEG source. The second is filter. Usually we set filter to remove the artifact and environment noise. The EEG filter is below the first high pass filter and the second low pass filter and the third notch filter. The first high pass filter that means we set up the lower limit frequency in our EEG 
it also called low frequency filter or time constants. And the second, low pass filter. This setting the higher limitation frequency of our EEG. It's also called high frequency filter. And the notch filter. The notch filter usually used for remove the DC or environment noise. Time constants. Time constants need to transfer to the frequency. For example, if we set the time constant in the 0.3 second, that means the EEG signal frequency below the 0.5 Hz will be filtered. Look less to picture. The setting time constant is 0.1 second and the other is 0.3 second. What's that mean? The upper EEG means that the EEG signal below the 1.5 Hz will be filtered. And the other is the EEG signal frequency is below the 15 Hz will be filtered. So we see more low frequency wave in this EEG. Then the high frequency filter, also called low pass filter. This is stating the upper limit frequency of our EEG. If we set in the 35 Hz, it's our upper limit frequency of EEG. So that means the EEG signal frequency higher than 35 will all be filtered. At last, when you are reading EEG, of course you can change the page speed as you wish to make your reading more convenient. In this slide, you can see two different page speed. You can make it slower or faster. You will make your EG reading more clear. Finally, I will give you some summary about this topic. The first one, the EG represents the combined electrical activity of many billions of neurons. So, if we want to understand a signal of different brain region, we need to choose the appropriate EEG recording electrodes and setting. We should switch between different montages to understand the comprehensive EEG signal and avoid the misinterpretation. Finally, when you read an EEG, you must pay attention to a setting such as sensitivity, filter, and paper speed. Thanks for your listening. Enjoy your EG reading. Thank you.